Hey YouTube, do it yourself junkie 369 here and today I'm going to be doing a quick review on my new Keurig K Elite. Obviously unboxing and setup as well and some tips on how to use it. So basically I went with the K Elite which is the newest Keurig as far as I know and it's about middle of the range price wise and it has features like auto on uh, can do temperatures between I think 178 to 192 degrees and once you program that in there it, it stays it remembers your last temperature setting it's able to ha it has a setting for high altitude it also has an auto off feature so after you brew if you don't remember to turn it off it'll shut off automatically to save some energy it has like a 75 ounce reservoir so you can get about eight cups of coffee out of this thing before you have to refill the water and it comes in a color I like brushed slate <laughs> All right, there's other colors available so anyway I'm going to cut this box open and show you what it looks like and how to set it up so when I got this from Amazon it, this box actually came inside of uh, another box which uh, didn't seem to be needed but the other box was beat up pretty good and then uh, oh yeah there we go there's a little bit of damage right there anyway you open the box you got instructions and some coupons to buy packages of coffee. And this is one of the few Keurigs that I know of, of course I've only owned two, that uh, comes with a water filter. Which, and then inside the box you got this nice uh, piece of cardboard to hold it in place and then this is all wrapped in plastic. And now it is pieces, all the loose pieces should be taped in place but to avoid damaging this thing, getting it out of the box, I'm going to need both hands, so I'm going to have to put the camera, camera down. So uh, I'll come back as, and start the film over again as soon as I get this thing out of the box. So now we have it out of the box. Uh, well, everything's supposed to be taped down. And basically, Next step would be to remove tape that's holding this tray up together, this on, and the water reservoir on. So we'll come back in a minute once that's all done. Okay, now first step on setting this thing up is you want to take this reservoir off, which it just lifts off like this. You want to take that, take the lid off, and rinse it out with water to get any dust or whatever else might be left over from manufacturing out of that water reservoir before use. And then you're going to want to clean the rest of the machine. And to do that, you need to fill it up with water. Okay, so like I said, once you rinse it, you need to fill it up and you'll do what's known as a cleansing brew. So first we'll take this and plug it in remove the lid and the biggest thing to remember on water is you don't want to use distilled water and I'm using up some old water bottles normally just tap water works fine and then the other thing other than not using distilled water is you do not want to go above that fill line. And one of the features on this is it will tell you when you need to add more water. So
where it's uh, heating up the water and you'll want to set oops, you'll go through the setup first thing you do is set the time Then you'll set your temperature, and then this is the auto on feature, so if you were to turn this on, it would have you set a time when you want the coffee maker to turn on. And this is the auto off feature, so I have it on, and then I, you can set it to turn off in either 15 minutes, 30 minutes, 45 minutes. 60 minutes, 75, 90, 105, 120, and that's after it finishes brewing your cup of coffee. So if you don't remember to hit the power button, that's how long it'll turn on. And then this is the high altitude fit feature represented by the mountain there. And basically, if it had a sun on, that means you have the auto on turned on. The moon means it has the auto, auto off turned on, and the high altitude means that this it has the high altitude setting turned on. For your cleansing brew, it's real simple. You just stick a cup under there, open it to uh, basically activate these buttons down here for strong. That makes your brew stronger. Hot water, which is what we'll be using. Iced, if you were making an iced coffee or something. And then these are the different sizes. It's uh, 4 ounces, 6 ounces, 8 ounces, 10 ounces, 12 ounces. And that's really my only complaint about this is uh, I really wish they had listed this size on there. Anyway, you'll select hot water and for your cleansing brew you want to do 8 ounces. And the cleanse is complete, so you take this water and you dump it down the sink. You don't want to use that water for anything, it might be nasty. So I'll cut, go empty that cup real quick, and then we'll come back and brew some tea, which is what I bought it for. It could run anywhere from like 50 cents to a dollar a piece, depending on what you're buying. And then they're one use, so you use it and then this goes in the trash. So not very environmentally friendly. But there is a reusable filter insert that can go in here. And that's nice because then not only can you reuse that, but whatever your favorite coffee is that you're already drinking, you just dump that in the filter and put it in there. So you don't have to go out and you can buy your coffee like your discount Folgers or whatever and not spend a whole bunch of money on individual K-Pods. You just go out and buy some coffee. So, really love this machine. Uh, it, it's actually uh, my second Keurig. Technically, the first one's owned by my wife, and she always she she allows me to use it. She tolerates it, but this one's probably going with me to work. And they're both great machines. Hers seems to have a little bit more on digital display and programming but it can't do the ice brew and hers I don't think has the uh, high altitude function which definitely works. Uh, some of those tea pods that I've made with the other version have exploded and clogged up the machine and I think part of it is not having that high altitude function. If you like this video and the review please hit the like button subscribe and as normal there is a link for this item down below if you use it thank you it gives me a, a small commission not much and basically I don't do these for the commission I do these on products that I like and use and if I had to buy it over again I would get the same thing I wouldn't change my decision at all 
and if I ever came across something I hated I'd probably review it for you guys to give you a heads up but I wouldn't bother including a link in the description because it's not worth buying if I hated it hope you like the video and come back and check out my other reviews or go over and check out some of my how-to videos thanks for watching